Welcome to Factation, your go-to place for the most fascinating facts from around the world. Today we're delving into the enigmatic realm of the Yakuza, the notorious mafia organization of Japan. This organization is steeped in mystery and intrigue, with a complex relationship with Japanese society and law enforcement. We'll be exploring seven mind-blowing facts about this group, from its unique origins, unusual traditions, to its surprising legal standing, and the implications of its decline. So buckle up as we dive into the intriguing world of the Yakuza. Fact number one, being a member of the Yakuza is not illegal in Japan. You heard that right. In fact, the Yakuza's presence in Japan sits in a peculiar legal gray area. While the activities they engage in, such as gambling, drug trafficking, and violence, are undoubtedly criminal and punishable by law, simply being a part of this organization isn't considered a crime. It's an intriguing paradox, isn't it? This unconventional status has led to a complicated and at times tense relationship with the Japanese police. It's not uncommon to find the Yakuza operating in plain sight, with offices and headquarters dotted around the country. On one hand they are monitored and regulated while on the other, their existence is tacitly accepted. One might ask, why is this so? Well it's tied to a myriad of historical, cultural and even political factors that are deeply rooted in Japanese society. This gray area of legality forms a unique backdrop to the Yakuza's operations in Japan. Fact number two, the name Yakuza comes from a card game. Now you might be wondering what card game could possibly give rise to such a notorious organization's name? Well it's a game called Oichu Kabu. This traditional game is a bit like Baccarat, and it's been played in Japan for centuries. In Oichu Kabu, the goal is to draw cards adding up to nine. The twist? If your total goes into double digits, only the second digit counts. So for example, a total of 10 would actually amount to zero points. Now here's where the name Yakuza comes in. The absolute worst hand you can draw in Oichukabu is a set of 8, 9, and 3 gives the player a score of 20, which also becomes zero, as it is a combination of two tens. This specific hand is called Yakuza, and is the worst hand possible. That's right, the dreaded 893. This hand is considered so unlucky, so outcast, that it became the moniker for Japan's infamous organized crime syndicate. But why would they choose such an unlucky name? Well, it's thought to be a nod to their origins as gamblers and risk-takers, living life on the edge of society. This name is a constant reminder of their roots in gambling and risk-taking. Fact number three, the Yakuza originated from two groups. Now let's dive a bit deeper into the historical roots of this notorious organization. The Yakuza didn't just appear overnight, Rather, they evolved from two distinct groups that had a strong presence in Japanese society. First, we have the Tekiya, or street peddlers. These were individuals who made a living by hawking goods in the streets, often of questionable quality. They were known for their cunning and their knack for convincing people to buy their wares, skills that are still valued in the Yakuza today. Next, we have the Bakuto, the gamblers. These individuals lived on the fringes of society, making a living through games of chance. They operated in gambling dens, often in the less reputable parts of town. The Bakuto were known for their code of honor and their fierce loyalty to each other, traits that have been carried over into the Yakuza's strict hierarchical structure. Both the Takiya and the Bakuto had organized structures and their own codes of conduct, much like the Yakuza of today. Over time these two groups began to merge and form what we now know as the Yakuza. This blending of the street-smart Takiya and the honor-bound Bakuto gave birth to an organization that combined cunning business practices with a strict code of loyalty and honor. These roots in street commerce and gambling still influence the Yakuza's activities today. So you see, understanding the origins of the Yakuza gives us a deeper insight into their unique blend of business acumen and traditional values. Fact number 4. The Yakuza peaked after World War II. Following the war, Japan was left in a state of disarray, chaos reigning supreme, this tumultuous period provided the perfect breeding ground for the Yakuza to flourish. As society struggled to recover from the catastrophic effects of the war, the Yakuza stepped in, offering semblance of order in a world turned upside down. They thrived in the shadows of this chaos, as their influence started to seep into the very fabric of Japanese society. This was a time when desperate times called for desperate measures, and the Yakuza capitalized on this desperation. Their membership swelled, and their power grew. The post-war era was, without a doubt, the Yakuza's golden age. This period of turmoil was a catalyst for the Yakuza's growth and influence. Fact number 5. 
The Yakuza population is aging, and membership is becoming less desirable. This shift is largely due to the increasing severity of sentences for violent crimes in Japan. With the stakes higher than ever, the allure of the Yakuza lifestyle has certainly lost some of its shine. This deterrence isn't just about the risk of punishment either. The reality of the Yakuza lifestyle is far from the glamorous image often portrayed in popular culture. It's a hard, dangerous life that requires a level of commitment and loyalty that many are no longer willing or able to give. As a result, the Yakuza is aging. With fewer fresh faces joining their ranks, the average age of a Yakuza member is climbing. This has far-reaching implications for the future of the organization. The Yakuza's influence and power are closely linked to its numbers, which are dwindling. What's more, an aging population brings with it its own set of challenges. Health issues become more prevalent, and the physical demands of the lifestyle become harder to meet. This only exacerbates the decline in membership, creating a vicious cycle that the Yakuza are struggling to break. The Yakuza's decline in aging population is leading to significant changes within the organization. As the old guard fades away, the future of the Yakuza hangs in balance. Will they adapt and survive, or will they continue on this path of decline? Only time will tell. Fact number 6, Yakuza Tattoos and Yubitsume. The underworld of Japan is not just about illicit activities and power struggles, it's also home to some fascinating traditions that are as intriguing as they are chilling. Let's start with the Yakuza's tattoos. These aren't your everyday ink jobs, they're full-body works of art, often hidden beneath clothing to avoid drawing unnecessary attention. These tattoos, or Irizumi, are a rite of passage, a mark of commitment to the Yakuza life. Each tattoo tells a unique story, often depicting traditional Japanese imagery like koi fish, dragons or cherry blossoms. But remember, getting inked is no small commitment. It's a painful process, done traditionally with a wooden handle and a needle, taking years to complete. Now, let's talk about yubitsume, or finger shortening. Yes, you heard that right. This is a symbolic act of atonement or apology within the Yakuza. If a member makes a mistake, they're expected to chop off the tip of their little finger starting from the left hand. This isn't just about physical pain, it's a deeply symbolic act. In traditional Japanese sword fighting, the little finger's grip is crucial. So, by removing it, a person becomes more dependent on their Yakuza family for protection. These unique traditions paint a vivid picture of the commitment and loyalty within the Yakuza. Fact number 7. The decline of the Yakuza is changing Japan's culture. Indeed, as the sun sets on the Yakuza's heyday, the landscape of Japanese society is shifting. The Yakuza's decline is not just a story of an aging population and harsher punishments for violent crimes, it's a story of cultural transformation. For decades, the Yakuza's presence has been interwoven into the fabric of Japanese society. From the entertainment industry to the world of finance, their influence has been felt far and wide. But as their numbers dwindle, we're beginning to see a cultural shift. The Yakuza's decline is also leading to an unprecedented wave of transparency, as their stronghold loosens more and more information about their inner workings, their rituals, and their history is coming to light. This newfound openness is not only offering us a glimpse into the secretive world of the Yakuza, but it's also allowing us to gain a deeper understanding of their complex relationship with Japanese society. Moreover, the Yakuza's decline is opening up space for conversations about crime, power, and authority in Japan. Their fading presence is prompting a re-evaluation of their historical role and their impact on Japanese culture. This in turn is sparking debates about the future of Japan's criminal justice system, the balance of power, and the cultural norms that allowed the Yakuza to flourish. The decline of the Yakuza is not just an end of an era, it's the beginning of a new chapter in Japan's history. But let's not forget the Yakuza didn't just shape Japan's culture, they were also shaped by it. Their rituals, their codes of conduct, their structure, all reflect aspects of traditional Japanese culture. And as they fade into the background, they leave behind a legacy that continues to influence Japan's cultural and societal narrative. As we've seen, the Yakuza's influence extends far beyond its members, shaping aspects of Japanese culture and society. That brings us to the end of our journey through the fascinating world of the Yakuza. We've delved into the legal gray area they occupy, traced the origin of their name, and explored their deep historical roots. We've revisited their post-war peak, their current decline in aging population and finally, their unique traditions that set them apart. These seven mind-blowing facts have given us a glimpse into the intriguing world of the Yakuza. Before you go, 
Don't forget to subscribe to Factation and leave a comment sharing your thoughts on this video. Until next time, keep feeding your mind with facts.